Hi, it's Anna again and uh, welcome to your uh, adventures guide <laughs> that will make your crazy and fun adventures a bit more organized and structured that will avoid your headaches. <laughs> And uh, I know we are uh, probably, if you're watching this, you're moving to another country and you are maybe young, you are very excited, but you're not sure how to organize all this. And in this case, you are in the right place because it's important to me to, uh, after, you know, moving to London and Berlin, and now I'm moving to Barcelona, I can kind of see the similarities and patterns of the things people should be doing. And uh, yeah, I think it's very easy to avoid uh, traumatic problems that I have uh, experienced and they were so easy to avoid. If you have the knowledge and you do simple tasks, not nothing huge, very simple but effective. And I hope you will enjoy this channel. Um, good luck with your journey. Please always watch the video until the end because I share different informations for different cities, but also general advice that can serve anybody who is moving. So not only when you move to Berlin or London or Barcelona, uh, although I don't know much about Barcelona yet because at this point I will be moving in six days, but hopefully when the channel grows and uh, time goes Bye, I can give you more information about this city as well. Uh, yeah, so just please always listen to the whole information and if you don't have much time, then just go through the description box and uh, download PDFs that will give you all the information. You can just go through it, uh, take only what's interesting to you and you will always find uh, value in these videos. I uh, am really working hard to uh, make sure you will. It's only information that I would give to myself the first time I was moving to London and uh, some mistakes I repeated when I was moving to Berlin and I avoid now when I'm moving to Barcelona. So uh, this is why I really want you to go on this journey with me and uh, just like have good time and enjoy. Uh, definitely what uh, you will have to do is um, gets you know bank account, phone number, and some numbers that are a bit tricky, <laughs> and you won't understand fully why you need them. <laughs> so um, the king of this process is Germany that I will leave for the end. So uh, I will start with London because it's quite easy, and with Barcelona I already um, understood some stuff, so I can share it as well. Uh, basically. Um, Always you want to, wherever you're moving, you want to have your uh, paper and write down bank, account, phone <laughs> and numbers. Okay, so we have three categories. We start with phone number, it's the easiest. Uh, basically you think this, do I need to sign up with a company, like a contract for whatever period of time? Am I sure I will stay there for I don't know, uh, two years or a year, or I'm just staying for six months or three months. I always uh, had a, a SIM card that was just, you know, Lebara or whatever, buy in, but in the shop. But I'm not sure this is the best um, uh, solution. I didn't always need the same package of minutes to call, text to send an internet. It would vary a lot, like sometimes I didn't need it at all. Sometimes I would need 500 minutes to different countries, five giga internet, you know, it varies a lot. So for me, um, only I'm responsible for deciding every month how much uh, I pay and uh, what package I choose. This was very beneficial for me, but I know some people like to not worry about this stuff, just have it all paid for and done. And uh, this is what you can do when you have a contract, you know, you always have your minutes, you just pay for whatever you uh, call or whatever internet you use, like whatever you want to do, you just, you decide, you, uh, I will maybe link some different companies that are worldwide and you can check, you know, different uh, for London and Germany, uh, for example, in England it's huge E, uh, for Berlin it's huge O2, you can, you can just compare different offers 
uh, you know, for example, also I have not good experiences with talking to customer service and it, it always takes so much of my time and I really, uh, you know, have limited <laughs> time because I'm working a lot. As little people involved in the process of me having something done is great for me. Um, so think about it. Uh, really, like, the first month I would say you know nothing, so you will use a lot of internet. I would say 5 giga gig especially if, if you're not sure about wi-fi in the place you're staying in if you're not sure about directions all this kind of stuff will add up like for the first month i would aim maybe five gig and 300 minutes and for the next month maybe three gig or one gig i don't know whatever you call like if you you can call abroad with labara and so on so this is important for me if you call poland england germany all this kind of uh, people, my friends, <laughs> it's quite straightforward. You just go to the shop, you buy the car the SIM card and you buy a top up and you just put it on your phone. You can do it online as well. After you have the SIM card, you can uh, also order it online and they will send it to you for I think one euro or they for free even maybe. And uh, yeah, the SIM card in the shop is one pound as well. So it's like really cheap in uh, Germany. If you buy it in the shop, I think it's like 7 to 15 uh, euros depending on the card and what it uh, includes so yeah this is done the phone is the easiest now we have bank accounts what you do you just put in the internet good old uh, google <laughs> you put you know like uh, bank accounts for you know students or like depending uh, you know it's difficult for especially a person to choose bank account uh, when you have an employer that will uh, they will you know like maybe advise you which company they usually work with uh, or if you're required to have the bank account opened before that you can just check on the internet just maybe ask some people if you know anybody who lives there or lived there before i know in uh, england uh, has uh, the Barclays has very good reputation and also when you have you know larger amounts of money they will always inform you what's happening with it and I have good experience with HSBC uh, but only because of good customer service but uh, you know Barclays I know, have no has maybe better reputation and uh, when it comes to Germany I was using Sparkasse but I don't recommend this it's like so difficult oh my god uh, <laughs> I don't mean anything bad, but in, in, uh, in England it's easy, you know, you get this little um, little calculator, like computer, and you will uh, log in to your account by generating a code every time, and you can also make transfers this way, I think, but uh, in the German bank I was using, I would always have to be in the country to receive the text, confirming the amounts, and it was just like so annoying because I'm always traveling. I'm always either in Poland, England or Germany. You know, it's always like or Spain because I was often in Valencia. And, you know, it's always like so frustrating to get the text. And um, sometimes your phone doesn't get, get it. It's like really annoying. So I'm not sure which bank I can recommend you in Germany, but I would definitely ask uh, them, you know, what options they have for transferring money and what uh, offers they have for a card that has, you know, the CVV number that you can pay in the internet with. Because in Sparkasse I got a card that um, basically didn't have a number, like it was just conto number and something like something else, some other number, but it didn't have the long number that you can use to pay in the internet and it didn't have the free num uh, free, free little uh, numbers that you uh, also use to pay in the internet with. So it was some card, it was debit card, but some very limited one and I had to then wait for two weeks to have another card made and I had two cards, you know, and when you have card in Poland, in England and two in Germany, like I don't need that many cards. Actually, I have two in Poland. So this is not necessary at all. So like really try to find a bank that will give you one card that will give you, uh, you know, all you need. So most people would need to pay online uh, easily, transfer money easily. 
this is the most important thing you have to ask in the banks. And another thing you would need uh, is numbers. So I know in England you need um, national insurance number, if I remember correctly. It's very easy, you get the appointment on the number, I'll uh, find everything uh, exactly uh, and find, put it on the screen or as well to download in the PDF. Uh, so basically you just you know, call the people, get the appointment, you go to the appointment, you need your passport, probably contract of the uh, that you live, you sign, you know, uh, for the rent, for the apartment, and maybe a proof of your work contract, and you give them all, like, copy or whatever, and they just uh, get all your information, maybe it's not long, like, I was waiting maybe half an hour, but the appointment was in 10 minutes, you know, but you never know how many people you will see, and it's just, you know, just basically uh, very easy, straightforward, not difficult. In England, you always have to wait for the appointment, not long, and in bank as well, you would need the contract for job and, you know, apartment as well, when you are uh, in the appointment for in the bank. When you are in Germany, you uh, need so many numbers. Uh, you need Sozialversicherungsnummer, health insurance. Uh, you have to do it in Akka, uh, which will be the green buildings everywhere. You need uh, so Sozialversicherungsnummer you'll get in the place that is responsible for retirement. Uh, it's called also like Renta Versicherungsnummer, I think. And basically, uh, you will get it with no really any requirements, you just have to go there and spend, I spent, you know, at least two hours waiting and then you give them some information not very uh, demanding and um, they will just put, give you this number. Next you need Stoya ID after you get your Anmeldung. So actually I started in the wrong way. <laughs> First you get your Anmeldung, uh, which you have to get a um, visit online, uh, which I will also link in the description box. It's uh, a bit tricky. You really do need these numbers. I was sure this is a joke. My friend told me before, you need these numbers. And I was like, no way. This can't be so difficult. I'm just like staying for two months because I wasn't sure how long I want to stay. I said for a year. <laughs> but actually you need all these numbers to get any work. It's so annoying. It will take weeks. I stayed at her place for a month before I moved to my apartment. So it's not a joke. I know it's crazy. Germany is crazy, I swear. But you do need all these numbers. So yeah, you will need Anmeldung first <laughs> and uh, you want to get the appointment as soon as you even hear this information now because it will you will wait for weeks. You can also buy like it's not legal, you can buy appointment from somebody else. There are websites for this. I'm not including this information. <laughs> Next, uh, when you have your Anmeldung, uh, Anmeldungsbestätigung, uh, you will get, uh, you can get all the other numbers. So when you have already work, you can get health insurance, um, depending whether it will be paid on behalf of your employer or it will be paid for from your money, it's like 100 a month. Next, you need Sozialversicherungsnummer. So you go to the place that uh, is organizing retirement. And even if you don't want any, like, you know, pay money for the retirement, there you still need this number. <laughs> so, because they need to make this papers that are saying you're not paying for the retirement. Like, I know it's crazy, but uh, you have to have this number. It will, they will ask, you for it in any work even if you have this like promotion jobs for one day you need all this um yeah so you get the number you will wait for like two hours and waste of time i know and you get give them some basic information they will give you the number it's quite easy but time consuming uh so you have this and the last thing you will need is stoya id so the tax number and you will get it uh, by post after Anmeldung, so the first thing you do. If you don't get it, you can always go to uh, Steuer, 
Amt, I think it's called, and it's basically the council that's only doing the tax. You have it in every um, area of the city and uh, you go there in your area, which is kind of important, and you just, you know, say hi, give me the <laughs> number and they will give you faster. But it takes time again. <laughs> so yeah, this is all. In Spain, I know you need NIE, N-I-E, number, and um, basically I'm not sure about bank account or phone uh, yet, yet, because I don't know anybody who lived there, and and uh, I don't, uh, I'm not there yet, so I don't know yet, <laughs> sorry. And I only know you need the NIE number, and it's a bit tricky to uh, get the appointment because I already tried a few times, but I think they don't have such a long period to wait uh, So you can only choose the days that are kind of close from the time you want to book the appointment So it's easier I think than in Berlin, but um, I will tell you more after I have all this done and I can share my experience Bye, thank you. Good luck. I'm sorry. This is a bad video because light is gone <laughs> And also, it's boring. I know nobody wants to do these things. And uh, I was so annoyed. Like, uh, you can imagine me in Berlin, a month living with my friends. I was so sorry for her because she had to put up with me, you know, <laughs> for a month. And, uh, you know, it's always nice to have your space, your apartment. And she was so nice to me, so cool, so lovely. I love her. But, you know, I didn't want to worry her. And I always was you know, waiting for these numbers, looking for the apartment, it was kind of a struggle. So I would advise to everybody moving to Berlin to really prepare themselves. I thought it will be easy. You know, in London, I got everything in like two weeks. I was set up to go. And in uh, Berlin, it took me like four or five weeks. So yeah, I'm not joking. I hope, I hope in Barcelona it will be easier. I'll let you guys know. So thank you so much and good luck with everything. Bye.